Hey everybody. I was asked the question, how am I creating QR codes? So I wanted to show you the trick on how you can create your own QR code that will allow you to be able to link anything that you have, your website, um, any type of page that you have that you want your audience to go to um, without having to, you know, like have a long list. So think about maybe a home base. So I'm going to show you, for example, um, this is my website. I'm going to copy my website address. And this is the QR code generator that I use. So you enter the text to share. So I could say my website. And so the URL is going to go there. You can also shorten the URL, even though mine's really short. Look, it's like longer than what it is. So that's if you've got one of those really long, like Google Docs, you know, like they'll have like a gigantic amount of text. So you can just go here to the URL. There it is. Now you hit save. Please name it. So QR code for website. I played around with this a while ago just to make sure this is the site that I like and I'll put the link in there. So now it is saved down here. Well, now that I have it here, I'm going to show you what I do with it. You see how I've pulled it up? Well, I'm going to just go back to Canva. So when I go to Canva, um, I always use Instagram posts, and I have given reasons um, in other videos of why I like to use the Instagram post. It's because if I am making any kind of image, I kind of like go from Instagram to LinkedIn, the Twitter to Pinterest. Facebook and, and I kind of share it all out that way and I always kind of start with the Instagram and that size um, it always works so you see how it downloaded down here at the bottom all I have to do now is drag it now how am I going to know this QR code from this QR code and oh blah 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 if you don't name it because look if you scroll down and like if you look at my stuff look at the QR codes that I have made in the past you see all of them so it's like you better make sure that you're naming everything but you really if you get kind of lost into your own system just pull out your phone if you have an iPhone you do not have to do anything but go to the camera and you'll hold the camera up and it says open in Safari and so it already has the link there and so when I click it it's going to take it straight to the website and it did give me that short URL but it looked absolutely ridiculous so that just lets you know you don't need to do it on a shortened one so that is a way that if you want to do them really quick have them engaged have them going to like your Instagram or, or whatever you want them to do so you can always check it but then here with the backgrounds you know now you can play around with it and you've got your QR code on here and whatever you want to do I'm going to get something purple just because I don't know me in the color purple here and then you can put your text and whatever this poster is going to be you know um And then you could do like Twitter. So you could go to Twitter. And you could get you a little birdie. And then you can go and get you a QR code for Twitter. And then you could do the same thing for, you know, Instagram. If you go to Instagram, you could put Instagram here. And then you can make your icons, you know, pretty small. And then I've been putting on my blog post for the Jen Lowry Writes blog, I've been putting um, share the love. And so you can also, so when you're here, So you might want to enter the link so you can go to Jen Lowry 
writes Twitter. And let me get your link. I don't memorize all these. I mean, I know the links, but I'm not going to be like tucking all that mess in. And then I'm going to come here. I can apply it. So now you've got you a hyperlink here on this Twitter. If you want to do it that way, if you're like posting this um, on a website or if you're posting it on the bottom of your blog, then people can click on it. So you can make one of these images and you can just attach it. You know how underneath your signature page, you're always putting find me on and you're putting them all out in spaces. You could create a really cool visual like this to allow, you know, your readers just to click. Oh, there's the Instagram. Oh, there's the Twitter. Oh, what's this? This is a secret. So you need to let them know. So just come on over and you can add a heading and you can put site QR code figure it's a little fit under there and I'll probably turn all of this white and of course I only highlighted the e but you can see how you can play around with these I really love how authors, when they'll email me and, and underneath their name, they'll have interactive um, components. And I've already talked with Eli about, you know, how can I update my signature? How can um, I learn how to make the banners? And so creating a banner like that would be really easy. And all you have to do is QR code it. You could put pictures of your books on it. So if you want to go and do the same thing, your QR code is not going anywhere. And look at all the choices, you know, that you have that you can go through. So, so just tons of choices. So I love the idea of the QR code generators. Um, people may not use them but they can be there for people that do. And if you want them to go to your main site, think about what's on um, your author site. If you scroll down, you see it has all of the links here. So let's just say I wanna put the QR code generator there and I can say, well, once you get on my site, you'll be able to link, you know, and it'll take you to Instagram or it'll take you to, you know, wherever it may be. So that's just some tips on first how to create the QR code and then once you get it, what can you do with it? I mean, you sure you could just, you know, keep it, save it as a JPEG, um, put it right back up into um, Canva or you could put it into your blog, um, whichever way you would like. But I'm going to use them for the poster um, part of it because I really liked what my media specialist um, when she gave me. Um, that idea to put up a little framed artwork you guys can see I'm working all kinds of stuff on here um, so I was gonna go back to my QR code generator paper but like I said if you want to try it out I'm gonna leave it up for just a second so go in and open up your camera, and then you're just going to put your phone on the screen and see if you can get it to website QR code. And you saw how it said website at the top. That's because I named it that. That's the text that's going to appear. So don't skip this part because the first time that I did it, I skipped this part. Now this part, I didn't add any of this stuff. I mean, you can feel free to do that, but I think that adding the website name, what it's for, and then just making sure you have your URL address, that's an active address, and it'll take them to the site. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys, and I hope you have a good one. If there are any other questions that you might have for me, like you've been seeing some things that's um, floating out there on my Jen Lowry Writes 
author world and you're wondering, well, how did she do that? Um, don't hesitate to email me at jenlowrywrites at gmail.com. Um, as you guys can see, it's late. I'm in my pajamas. Um, if you can count my little mermaid t-shirt from Hot Topic pajamas. Um, and uh, But I'm still here um, plugging away at it and um, just finished up homeschooling. So uh, this is kind of like my time. I'll be able to catch up on emails. This, um, and as soon as I saw that email over the weekend, I was like, oh, so now I've got to answer that email. And so I've got my little check off. These are things that um, I can help do to support you during the week. And so making these videos is one of them. So like the video, subscribe, uh, stick around. Um, teachers can use the QR codes. All, they're using it all the time. So um, using the QR code generator like this one, I find this one to be the easiest one. So I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it into the description of the video. That way you'll just be able to click and go. So have a blessed one, guys. Bye.